Hey guys, it's 11 o'clock on day three. Just started the Huntsville section. Uh, last time I checked in with you, I was on that road walk. I uh, just continued for another 0.7 miles. I think currently when I'm on, it still counts as that 0.7. But uh, it's a nice little walk. You're gonna go over to Cattle Grates. And you're gonna pass the old house, that old green dilapidated house, and then the newer brick home, just like the guidebook tells you. Then you're going to go up this uh, forest road, about the same make of this one. You're going to take a right, and you're going to wind up at that little trailhead right there, where that car is parked. I'll uh, probably stop in about an hour, or just over three miles, because uh, there's a small lake and a neighborhood around it. You don't want to get water from that lake, from what I'm hearing. It's because of fertilizer and all the runoff. So, but there is a pump house there with a faucet or spigot outside of it so you can get potable water there which is great so I'll probably uh, eat lunch there fill up a liter of water and then uh, walk right into uh, Huntsville State Park which is an additional 2.2 miles off the trail so not too crazy about that but should be a good day I mean if we only have like Seven miles left. We've already done nine today. About seven miles left. Yeah, seven or eight miles left. So plus an hour for lunch. So should be a pretty again early day today. We'll see how things go once I get inside the park and get in a spot and all that. But I'll check in with you around lunchtime. All right, guys. Mile marker 31. I uh, just want to take you a quick video so you can see what this uh, section of the western side of Huntsville section is like. Hey guys, mile marker 31. I thought I'd take a quick video so you can see what the western side of the Huntsville section is like. It's just kind of been bouncing between a coniferous and deciduous forest. Uh, occasionally it'll be like a mixture of the two. It's really nice, it's really breezy today. Uh, it is kind of hotter, but it's not too bad with the breezes going on. So, yeah, that's what it's like. I'll check you out in a little bit. Oh. All right guys, so my dad always jokes that I have a big head. That's kind of true, but I guess it is true. I just got proven about it. So I just got hit in the head with a branch as it was falling down. It didn't hurt too much, it just really shocked me. Probably just stood there for like a second or two, trying to figure out what happened. But yeah, no big deal, I feel okay. But I guess something to watch out for. It is kind of windy, I just don't feel it down here. But yeah, <laughs> little humor on the trail. Hey y'all, I'm here just past mile 32 at the uh, residential lake, I forget the name of it, but uh, had a few different talks with a few different people that live here, so they're all uh, pretty receptive to hikers uh, for the most part. Uh, just so you know, on my right, your left, there's a pump house there with a little spigot. You can fill up some water bottles there. I talked to one of the guys who lives pretty close by. He offered me some actual uh, tap water, which was nice. So I refilled up uh, a liter of that. Since I'll be here at Huntsville here in a few miles, I shouldn't do too much. And then I talked to another guy, almost like the neighborhood watch. He made it uh, pretty clear to me, since there were some people fishing out here, that uh, the only people allowed to fish are people who are residents here. Because they all pay their dues and whatnot to get the fish or the pond stocked. And he made, he made it pretty clear to me, so. But they, overall, pretty friendly to hikers, you know. Just, uh, I wouldn't go walking up on their property or anything, you know, uninvited. But, you know, there's a nice gap between the pump house and someone's house to where you don't really have to worry about that too much. So, yeah, really nice area, nice and shady, great spot for lunch. And should be, I have about two point something miles left till I hit uh, the area to where I walk into Huntsville State Park. I might go all the way 
until I hit the 45 frontage road, and then walk into Huntsville from that direction. That way I can knock off some more miles today, and I'll have to come back out to that. So I'll check in with you in a little bit. Hey everybody, I just passed where the Huntsville State Park Trail kind of cuts off. You really won't miss it. It's just a, uh, well you'll see one pole through the Lone Star Hiking Trail. And then you'll see one pole with a red explanation point on it. And it'll, uh, that's your signal to cut right. And uh, head up into Huntsville State Park. Now, what I'm doing, uh, I'm going all the way to mile 35, where the Lone Star Hiking Trail meets up with the frontage road for I-45 and where the road for Huntsville State Park meet. Then I'll just hike in through the main road. Maybe I'll hitchhike to the park headquarters, hopefully. <laughs> but, uh, so that's a little bit on today, but it saves me from doing this part tomorrow. And I'll have to kind of hike backwards to get back to this spot tomorrow. So, just kind of saves a little bit of time for tomorrow. Uh, check in later. Alright guys, I'm at mile 35 on I-35. I'm not going to see Sam Houston statue behind me. I'm pretty sure it's Sam Houston. Uh, yes, I'm at the trailhead right now. Uh, now I'm just a short walk in to uh, Huntsville State Park. Gotta go this way for a little bit. I'll check in once I get to the park. See y'all.